Good morning, everyone. So today I tried a little something different with the whole lapidary setup. I wanted to try and facet a gem, so I took this little piece that LXR sent me and I got into it. Let's check it out. So yeah, in my past videos, you'll have seen me get all these gemmy goodies from LXR. Some came with pay dirt and some were, most were a birthday gift from him, which is super awesome. So I've got a lot of faceting to learn how to do. So let's check out my first try here. Also, oh, look at this insanity pile. All the ones I started working on last night. They'll need to go be washed now before they go to the next disc and then you wash this table off. So anyway, here's a little sneak peek at the finished project that I did today. I just, I want to show you so you don't leave, just so you see what's coming up before you take off. Look at that. I put a lot of work into this, and for my first time, I surprised myself. Like, I never thought it would have come out this nice looking, and someone told me it's a rose cut. I didn't even know what shape of cut I was doing. I just cut the rock. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm really not trying to sound like I'm bragging. Anyway, this is what it started out as, kind of, um, I started to already cut into the sides and flatten the sides. It was all rounded like the top is there, and I had forgot to start filming. But check this out. Look at that little golden needle inclusion in there. That's what made me pick this one out, as I could just barely see it when I had got it wet um, and started to cut into it. I saw that little golden needle pop out. I was like, oh yes, let's, let's cut this into my first ever gem faceted, or yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. I was excited to try this out. <laughs> I was kind of shaking a little bit. I was so nervous to cut into my first gem. Even though it was free and I have a bunch of them to practice with, it was somehow nerve-wracking. And you can see I almost went for more of a Superman symbol shape to start with there. And then I thought it would be a good idea to try and go equal sides, but I did mostly freehand it up until that point where I drew this little um, hexagon shape on it. And so this right here is where I was still freehanding it, um, and hadn't decided yet what exactly shape I was going to draw in there, but I went and grabbed my stencils and checked out what little, like, hexagons would fit on there, found one that would kind of maximize what was left and was just bigger than the stick, and you can see it right there. I drew that on, thought I got it pretty well aligned with the stick, and you'll see right here once I shaped up, it was so close, the one flat edge was, like, right up against the stick. <laughs> So it's hard to tell here, but it didn't seem totally flat and level on the top to me. So I started to level it off, not thinking that really doesn't matter when you're making a facet and bringing it down to a point in the middle anyway. Again, it's my first time. I don't know what I was thinking there, just flattening the top. But <laughs> here I'm sticking it in the stencils and it actually popped through the one that I drew it on. It looks like I took it down just a bit too much. And right there, you, you just see it pop in there a little. Meh, that's fine. Still almost really good shape. So gonna get into it here, try and draw a little bezel line. So that's gonna be as deep in as I wanna go. It was not perfectly straight there, but you know what? Don't even care. I'm just gonna throw in here after the fact that I'm doing this freehand, but I really want one of these arms that you use to facet gems normally. But yeah, I'm doing it freehand. <laughs> one of those toys one day. We'll save up and get a real nice one. But yeah, obviously I have like no idea what I'm doing here. You can see the hesitation in most of my movements. At first I'm just like, uh, what angle should I hold it at? I want to cut it in just till it stops at the line. And I figured I'd start with opposite ends each time. So that I did each opposite side and then I'm going to do corner to corner opposites. And I figured I'll leave this part just uh, normal speed, full length, and you can see how much hesitation and indecision went into every little move I made there. <laughs> but I'll stop talking your ear off. Let's have a little bit of music and just enjoy.
I don't care what anyone says. First time cutting a gemstone by hand. I'm calling that a win. I'm gonna polish it now. Oh my, I had six kinds of fun making this. Look at that little golden needle inclusion bouncing around in the different facets there. Oh, that's awesome. So I popped it off in the freezer, flipped it around, stuck it back on, forgot to film any of that. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I've got it flipped over here. And I also had removed all the footage of the wheels in between the 180 and the 14K polishing pad because it was all out of focus and just horrible footage, so cut that part down and now we'll watch as I cut the top because it's just flat here we want to give uh, I don't know if it is still called the bezel or I think it's called the crown I don't know all the terms yet but we're gonna cut the top of the gem and give it some shape other than this flat boringness so again I obviously have no idea what I'm doing here um, you can see my hesitation, like what angle do I cut? I think it needs to not be like 45 degrees, but like much, much steeper, like 20 degrees. Um, I chose a bad angle to film this too. I was like, ooh, let's move the camera above the flat lap. Um, this wasn't the best shot to do that with, but here we are anyway. Enjoy. <laughs> so I'm going to fast forward through these parts and then we'll focus on the parts where I show off the gym and get it polished and we'll do a little more music here. just sits there for a minute, gets cold. I know I'm in New York now, but <laughs> a 
I'll always keep this. I love it. I got it at Comic-Con years ago. Being from Utah, it's, it's just very funny to me. All right, it's been a minute. Pops right out when it's cold. Let's go put this in the light and check it out. All right, so here it is. There's still what looks like smudges on it, but they're fine scratches that I did not get polished all the way out. See them there. So I could take it back a wheel, a couple wheels and try and get those scratches out. But for my first ever facet attempt and this being freehand, I thought that looked pretty good. And there's that little golden needle inclusion in there weird little single needle of something. Oop. So yeah, far from perfect. But I think that was pretty good practice. Pretty good practice to get into faceting. You can see a lot of imperfection there. So it's not as perfect as it looked in my first short videos and whatnot. But it's a pretty little gem. Look at that needle bouncing around and playing off the different faces in there. That's why I wanted to try and leave the needle in it. I was hoping for some sort of effect like that. Honestly, the whole thing came out better than I could have hoped for. Like, way better. I did not think it was going to come out this nice. There's a couple chips around the edge there you can see up at the top. That happened towards the very end. That little flower design in there. But yeah, let me know what y'all think. Do you want to see more attempts at faceting? Uh, because I'm going to do it, but... Depends if people want to see these kinds of videos or more of the normal rock stuff, lapidary stuff as far as like cabochons. I know I'm lacking on the rock hounding videos, but there's going to be a lot more of those coming once the weather warms back up. I did not have a huge stockpile, unfortunately. So a big thanks and shout out to LXR Postal Prospecting. He is the one who gave me these gems for my birthday that I got to facet here. Uh, so thanks to him and thank you to High Tech Diamond because without my flat lap, this would not be possible. And be sure y'all check out my affiliate link with them down in the description. You get a discount on all of their equipment except the machines and I get a little kickback if you use it even on the machines. You may not get a discount, but I get a little something if you use my link. <laughs> Um, and then be sure to go check out my buddy Geode Cracker and Collector if you're not already subscribed. He is just about to a thousand subs and he has some great content and he will be linked below with LXR and my High Tech Diamond link in the description. And he's also on my featured channels page. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me on this little faceting journey of mine. It was exhilarating. I was nervous. I don't know why. It was a free gem. 
and you know worst case scenario i get another one and try again but it was weirdly nerve-wracking and so exciting to try this and i'm really glad i did and i'm glad i brought y'all along have a great day thank you and yeah we'll see you next time threw a little water on these just to show the color but this is everything i have got sitting out to work this week Lots of stuff to work this week. You're straight up smiling a minute ago. Yeah, go smile. Yeah, you grinning.